Hello and welcome back to Train Sim TV. My name is Tom and in today's video we're going to be having a look at the Mayflower line. This is an extension to the Dovetail Games' Great Eastern Main Line. Um, what it does is it adds in the missing scenery um, between Manning Tree and Horwich Town. You can get this off Just Trains' website. Um, we're going to have a run on one of the scenarios, just take you for a little drive. It's a nice half hour run just to fill a, a video slot in. We're on a class 360 EMU and we're starting at Horwich Town. So we're going to get ourselves sorted, set up and get ourselves ready for the off. Right, so... Let's get ourselves our master key. That's off, that needs to be on. Neutral. Right, so, some instrument lights on. It's been ages since I've driven this unit. Doors open. So good morning, uh, good evening, sorry driver. You are due to call at Dover Court, Horwich International, Rabness, Missley, and Terminate at Manning Tree. Try to keep to the timetable so that passengers can connect with their services at Manning Tree. So it's not a, not a hard scenario. We're just going to call on all the stations en route. Quite an old pack, really, is the 360 EMU and the uh, AP sounds. I think we're good to go. I probably would say the <clears throat> that the pack for this, uh, the sound pack probably came out about four years ago. Easy, maybe maybe could be more. Could be wrong. So we're heading to Dover Court now. Tom's speeding as per. Right, so this is Dover Court, and again, it's got a custom asset uh, for the station here as well. This product's been out for quite a while as well. I remember when it came out, it was quite a while back now. It's nice, it's got the uh, the custom assets in there as well, um, in the required places. Of course, the map that this route covers is, is this section here from just outside of Manning Tree where the scenery begins. Runs on this line here. You've got the yard as well, um, Horwich, that parks them.
Next up is Horwich International. So at the minute it's down as a uh, single line down here, the other part is actually overgrown. Little fact as well, um, there is actually a freeware version of this route out as well. I, managed, I made a free version of this many, many years ago for a UK Train Sim Route Building Challenge. Um, and it, it won as well. It won the um, first place in the competition against all the competitors. Um, I think it was a 30 day route building challenge that used to be held once a year at UKTS. And um, we went on to complete in the route. It wasn't, it wasn't finished at the time, but we did go on to complete it. And you can still find that on UK Train Sim somewhere. I think it's still under the UKTS freeware packs um, as a full route installer. It's by nowhere near to the same standards and scratch as this route, but um, there is a freeware version of this out there as well. Um, not as many custom assets on it, there's only a couple bits and pieces, but that was probably about six or seven years ago. So times have moved on with better foliage and scenery as well now. This has got a lot more custom assets with it. Alright, so we're just skirting around the curve into Horch International. Used to hold boat trains and stuff this did as well. Used to have like your 86s and the Mark 2s and 3s and stuff like that. I think Mark 2s, if anything. I don't know if the Mark 3s really came down on this um, route. Possibly could have done. I'm sure someone in the comments will know. It's quite an interesting line though because it's got it's, it's just a little branch line but it's got this big yard at the end it's got this big station down here and it's got a bit further down the end, you go to another little um, single line section. It's quite, it's quite a nice little interesting run. There's, there's quite a bit of variety you can do on it. It's obviously got your freight potential. Um, you've got all the yards here. You've also got the chemical terminal over at this back end here. And you've also got the tip as well there. So there's different potentials in uh, freight scope. Good job driver, the passengers now. Uh, passengers for the ferry have time to board for their onward journey. Excellent stuff. So. They've connected. Let's move on. Next up is Ravnus. That is in 3.78 miles. It's 25 mile an hour as we leave Horwich International. And it does climb back up to 40 quite soon. Alright, we are back up to 40 miles per hour. Doesn't stay 40 all the way, it does climb up again uh, to higher speeds. It does rise up to 60 miles an hour shortly. That's not annoying at all, is it? The uh, the post in the way there. We're just going to get our HLE mass all the way through here for a screenshot, aren't we? <laughs> we'll try that further down the line because that's just hopeless.
Right, so we go around this curve in a minute. This uh, elevated curve. We'll uh, we'll be up to 60 mile an hour and we can uh, make our way towards Rathmos a bit quicker. And on we go. Uh, this route was also made by um, the same guy who, um, I don't know if he still does anymore, but he was a traction depot um, who did the extension for the Great Eastern Mainline workshop um, job up to Norwich. His name is Richard. I can't remember what his second name is. Top of my head. But um, yeah, in the, in the manual, it, it is the same guy. It's good. I love how it all matches as well. There's the the scenery, um, the style of scenery, it all matches up with the DTG version. This thing had a passenger view, to be quite honest. It's been that long since I've driven the four, uh, the four, the 360. It's nice to come back and have a go on these older um, units in the sim. But they do, sh they are showing the range, though, as you can look at that. <laughs> very bland looking. Even the cab, the cab's very dreary and drab. But it is nice to come and have a go on the older stuff. It doesn't really get much of an outing. Uh, to run this route, all you need is the Great Eastern Main Line as well um, from Steam Dovetail um, Store. And everything else is included, all the extra custom assets that have been built. Sure, we make it with this platform because we've we'll learned over we'll shooting. It's not a very long platform. Stop board there at the end of the platform there. And this is Ravenous. So not much on this platform, it's quite a basic one, a little hut, a little uh, canopy on it as well. A little scroll detail on there. That's what they, they, the, the correct term for them are, scrolls, the, the detail in between the canopy uh, on the, in the metal work. I only learned that recently because our, um, who we work with at Just Trains, Will, um, he does quite a lot of these on the station work um, models. Next up is Missley. Uh, Missley again is about 3.8 miles in distance and it's still 60 miles per hour.
I'm just getting my rail atlas out as we speak, just to see if there's anything I can point out on this uh, section in, really. I don't think there's much, to be honest. Um, trying to find my line. So there's not much really to point out in terms of uh, on this part. I mean, we've had um, the yards um, at Parkston Quay uh, Yard, which is the car terminal also. And we've had the CE tip, um, Carless um, Oil Refinery as well. <clears throat> of course, we've called at Dover Court, Ravnus Horwich International, heading towards Missley. Before we get to Manitou, we have Manitou East Junction, where you can take the line to the right and head to Ipswich and Norwich or further afield if the route ever let you, but it doesn't. Um, obviously we're going to head into Manningtree South uh, Junction and into Manningtree Station. Then the line obviously continues south down towards uh, London, Liverpool Street, and ultimately. This power handle is weird. Missley is just a mile away now, it's just up on the view on the hood there. We will get ourselves slowing down in a moment. I don't think this line at all really is as busy as it once was. Um, I know that they do run freight still down uh, on the line, but I don't think in terms of passenger service there's really that much to run down here. Could be wrong, but I, I don't think there is. Not like it used to be. So we'll start slowing down now for Missley. Otherwise we'll miss it. Oh, I've just seen that there. There's another train here. Oh dear. We're going to end up missing this. Mm, slightly. Bad, bad Tom. <laughs> Just slightly. Well, the look at it, the the full the 360, 360 will only just about fit in the station. Just just enough room. And a couple of sidings here, disused sidings. Quite an industrial area, really. This as well. Another chemical plant here. With seven seven miles to our final destination of Manning Tree. I'm gonna be calling it platform one, which I believe is the bay platform.
we're down to 35 in a short while, about half a mile, then we go down, um, we do a 25 mile now into the platform. It's downhill gradient as well. So we're still on 20% on the brake application. Should get us there for more or less our about right at the right time there, maybe a little bit early to be honest, but at least we're there. Yellow, and a double yellow. It's like double yellow from here. Which tells me we're safe to go straight to the platform so far. This is where you can turn right and uh, head off to Norwich or Ipswich and Felixstowe. the link for the um, extension this route as well in the, our description below uh, the video as well so if you want to have a look it is there for you to have a look at so single yellow clear into the platform so we're doing the main line now as well that comes up between Norwich and Liverpool uh, Liverpool Street. Hope you've enjoyed the video, guys. Thank you very, very much for watching. I've been Tom. We've been Trinksim TV. Don't forget you can catch our Twitch channel. Link is in the description below. You can also leave us a comment, share, subscribe, any feedback, um, anything you'd like to see from us. Um, we like to hear from you. Um, do feel free to leave a, a comment on our um, any of any of our videos. We will we will see it and we will respond to you. Um, a massive thanks again to everyone for joining and watching. We will catch you on the next video. Take care and see you later. Stay safe.